Welcome back, everybody. I'm Dr. Craig Malkin. I'm a clinical psychologist and lecturer for Harvard Medical School. I'm also the author of Rethinking Narcissism, which is devoted to helping you understand and cope with narcissism in all its forms and all your relationships. I'm following up on a video I did recently explaining one of the rarely mentioned features of pathological narcissism. There is a an aspect of it that tends to come out over and over again across the types of pathological narcissism, but that people rarely don't rarely ever mention. And that is that precisely because people with extreme narcissism are insecurely attached, meaning if they're sad, scared, blue, lonely, they uh, don't trust that they can turn to one special person or persons for mutual care, love, and connection. We know this, by the way, because uh, the research over and over again shows that narcissists, if you ask them, extremely narcissistic people, if you ask them, would you prefer a warm, loving, caring partner or a trophy wife or trophy husband? They pick you guessed it, the trophy wife or trophy husband. And that is by definition, a lack of attachment security to valorize or put uh, competitive looks and winning ahead of love and comfort and caring. So one of the hallmarks of insecure attachment, this is all attachment and security This shows up particularly with trauma, is that when people talk about their childhood, it's discursive, disjointed, it's not clear, it lacks color, it lacks detail, it lacks vividness. And what I said in the previous video, which is still true, is that extremely narcissistic people of the extroverted kind, I forgot to make this distinction, the more outgoing brash kind of narcissism I talk about across my, across my videos, they are going to what's called self-enhance, they're going to talk about their childhood as though it was perfect, uh, idyllic. Uh, but when you look really closely or ask questions, they're not going to be able to come up with much detail. So that's one presentation. Uh, remember, extreme narcissism is about an addiction to feeling special, exceptionally unique, standing out from the other 7 billion people on the planet. And we can do that if we're extremely narcissistic, either by... Uh, emphasizing what's great about us and positive, uh, like looks, fame, money, the kind of partner you have, how attractive they are, right? So that's more extroverted. But what comes up again and again is introverted or covert narcissism. And it's called introverted uh, or covert narcissism because these are people tend to be more introverted, uh, more reflective, more inward, not necessarily self-reflective, of course. Um, and they, their grandiosity is hidden. How is it hidden? And this is where I want to clarify. It, it, it's hidden in that very often what they inflate or make bigger to stand out from others is their emotional pain, uh, their, their feeling misunderstood, um, having suffered the most, uh, even sometimes being the least, the, the most unattractive person. But notice that's still jockeying for position, but it's it's negative. So uh, people who are extremely narcissistic, who talk about their childhood when it tips towards pathological narcissism, you might hear again discursive, joint, disjointed. It doesn't really hold together. It's not coherent. The 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 the, the details aren't really consistent. But what is consistent again and again is nobody has suffered like me. Uh, nobody's been through this kind of pain. I had the worst childhood ever. Um, and of course, for some people, that's true. But what's different when it's expressed through extreme narcissism of the introverted or covert kind is it doesn't really elicit sympathy. It sort of rings. It, it has a false note to it, like a, a piece of music that's out of key within a song. Um, and it doesn't really feel authentic precisely because it's being presented. It's a way of again, being exceptionally unique only in a negative way. So that's what I wanted to clarify. Um, again, insecurity, attachment insecurity leads to a disjointed or, or broken up or discursive or incoherent childhood story. 
And with extroverted extreme narcissism, it can present as best childhood ever. With introverted, it often presents as worst child ever and hood ever, and nobody has ever been through anything this bad. So I hope that helps clarify. I hope you find this video helpful, as with all my videos. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up and share it widely so that other people can see it. And I look forward to sharing it with you again. Take care.